Bronky keep talking about whiskey and kicks. What's good, people? This your boy Brocky, whiskey and kicks. I'm in the building, fresh off of Thanksgiving break. Man, it was a doozy, yo. I've been, I've been, um, you know, trying to get my fitness together, and I've been on a pretty strict diet. Um, you know, barely any sugars, which includes carbs, of course, carbs break down to sugars. But uh, and then I went to Rochester for Thanksgiving. If anyone knows anything about Rochester, it's two things that you need to know about Rochester. One, Rochester, New York. One, there's a lot of food. There's great Italian food. There's great pizza. There's great wings. And there's the garbage plate, which we won't even talk about right now. I didn't have a garbage plate this time. And there's the seafood. It's crazy, too. As I was saying, the other thing you need to know about Rochester, New York. If you're a whiskey enthusiast, you love whiskey like I do. Rochester had this, has this jewel called Market View Liquors. Now, I'm sure they have competition. They do, because I went to one of their competitors while I was there and I grabbed something. But this place, when you, I'm here in Virginia and certain things you just don't see on the shelves around here and you see them on the shelves in market view i go there and i come home with tons of whiskey every time and even gins and rums if i really want to go crazy and get silly this time we have some whiskeys and we're calling this the hall the hall rest in peace virgil man we won't go there though. Rest in peace, Virgil. This is my dedication, man, to Virgil Abloh. This is the haul. This is what I got. So let's go. First off, um, I will start with, let's call this the, I'm a whiskey guy, but my girlfriend is a wine person. So I'm gonna try this out for her sake. And mine, to be honest, this is Penelope. They had some, other offerings there that I was really into, but I set a budget for myself and I tried to not go over it. If, if I did go over, not too far. Um, but we were both pretty interested in this. This is a, a rose cask finish bourbon, um, limited release. We won't get into specific details. This is all about the haul. This is not about each specific wine. I'm a uh, whiskey. I'm sipping, I'm sipping Four Roses, a uh, barrel pick from Nick's of Clinton right now, just to let y'all know. So this is, I'm not sipping any of these whiskeys right now. I will do Brocky Taste the Booze segments and break these down, okay? So be ready for those. But I'm just letting y'all know what I grabbed. All right, this is my haul. Man, is this gonna block the camera view? This is, this is, I think I have too much, it's gonna block me. It's gonna block me, let me sit, sit this here. So my table, I have a new table here. You guys see this? Is, it good? Is this gonna break my table? Okay, next, I will go with um, this Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark, carefully selected combination of oak finishing staves, barrel pick for Market View liquors. This is a barrel pick. I've had Maker's Mark barrel picks before, but I and I love them, so I got another one, all right? Next, um, let's go with this High West Double Rye Barrel Pick once again from Market View. Another barrel pick. This is insane. How does he do it? This is why I'm not running out to go and get in line. Shout out to everybody who got in line for VA the other day to get some stuff. That's cool. I'm not waiting in line. It's forgetting. I get things when I want to get them. If they don't have it, then I don't get it. But this is um, High West Whiskey Double Rye Barrel Pick from Market View Liquors. Very excited about that. I am extremely excited about this. Um, next, we have Copper and Cask. 
Barrel pick for Market View Liquors. Another barrel pick. The guy is on fire. Kobe from the top. Swish. Ah. Very curious about this one. Um, yes, I've never had this. I hadn't even heard of it. And apparently they're pretty new. They're pretty new. Out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and we all know Indiana, they put out they put out good juice. So this is the copper and cask barrel pick selection from Market View Liquors. Next, Ugh. this is not a barrel pick, but I thought it was really dope, and I'm excited to try this out. I haven't had as much Glenmo as I've had. I haven't had this one. And it's in this really cool giraffe thing. We think I'm a jiggy and they do stuff with giraffes. I'll break it down in a Brocky Tasty Blue segment. This is a port cast finish, age 14 years, Scotch whiskey. Talk to me. Not a barrel pick. Not a barrel pick. But Glen Morangy supports the giraffes. So, and I support Glen Morangy. I love those guys. Let me move this, let me move this over here. Let me move my whiskey a little bit and my mouse because I don't really need my laptop. We're not getting in depth and talking about this stuff. But I'm getting, I'm just trying to create a hole here so you guys can see me as I talk about my grabs. Look at that, that's cool. The bottle's in there, I haven't opened this yet because I'm dramatic and I'm saving that for another segment. Lastly, as I stated, I went to a competitor of Market View and it's called White House Liquors, I believe, in Rochester, New York. It is owned, from what I understand, by the sister of Danny Wegman, or maybe it's one of the Wegman folks. It's right next to the Wegmans over on Highland Drive in Rochester, New York. This is a George Dickel Sour Mashed Whiskey Barrel Pick! Once again, another barrel pick. I love Tennessee whiskey. Um, I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. A barrel pick out of White House. I had to do it. I was done. I had hit my budget. This took me over the budget. But I have no regrets. Not one whatsoever. I got one, two, three, four barrel picks special situation here and a rosé cask finish bourbon we have a lot of whiskey to taste um rocky taste the boost segments we will be blasting off they will be back i know i was out for the holiday but i'm back i'm shooting tomorrow and um or for wednesday excuse me and you guys will see me sipping probably one of these and we'll keep it popping, man. And if all goes well, next week and going forward might look a little different for Brocky Taste of Booze. But you know, we won't get into that. For now, we'll leave it as is. I just wanted to share my haul with you guys. This is the haul. Shout out, shout out to the, the legacy, the imprint, Virgil Ablo. Ablo. I don't want to pronounce his name right. My bad, Virgil. But man, cheers. Rest in peace, man. Huge loss. This is the Whiskey and Kicks dedication to Virgil, the hall. Y'all be good, man. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. I only have six new bottles of whiskey. Four barrel picks. I keep saying that. Y'all be good, man. Cheers. Rocky, keep talking about Whiskey and Kicks.